Today we'll meet an extraordinary woman who has overcome adversity, proving that our biggest challenges can actually become our biggest strengths. As a child, Chantal Lewis wanted nothing more than to be a performer. Landing an agent at just seven years old, it quickly became clear she was destined for the stage. I want to do what I love to do since I was three years old. Like, yeah. I want to do that. And if I could do that for a living, I didn't know anything else. Driven by her passion for acting and dance, Chantel moved to Santa Monica, California to pursue her dreams. But as her career started gaining momentum, the pressures of Hollywood began to take its toll. I would go out to all these auditions and I was so hard on myself. I would push myself. I would rehearse over and over and over and over. And all of a sudden, as stuff was happening, I just remember feeling this like sense of like, there's something bigger than this. On March 18th, 2009, Chantel's life changed forever. Your life suddenly changed. Tell me what happened that day. I haven't told this in a long time, so I might get Take emotional. Your time. Take your time. Um, March 18th, 2009, I um, was at my girlfriend's house just like any other day. And, you know, we were just having a great time. And then I literally just like popped up and I was like, I have to go. In that moment, I popped up off that couch and got in my car on Wilshire Boulevard here in LA. And, oh boy. Um, there was a huge semi-truck and it was kind of like, Jesus, take the wheel. And it chopped off the left side of my driver's seat, like right down like an inch from my shoulder. Like had I been this much closer, <laughs> I would not exist. And I just remember just like, I lost my hand. I lost my hand. I'm like, Lord, I, I lost my hand. And I kept saying it. And I was stuck under this truck too. And I didn't know if I was dying. I didn't know if I was, the whole truck was gonna blow up. We go to the, the hospital, they try to put the hand back on. And the doctor tells me, I'm gonna try to put this on, but there's no guarantee, but I'm gonna try my hardest. I just, I could see her face right now. Woke up and the same eyes were looking back at me and she just says, I'm, I tried so hard, but I'm sorry, for the rest of your life, you're gonna have one hand. And I was like, my sister is right there. And I just looked at her and was like, that's okay guys. I'm like, is this real? This, this is a real conversation, like mm -hmm. I'm still alive. I can still breathe, eat, act, sing, mm -hmm. uh, have a family. I said, take my hand, but I have, a, I have something else to do here on this planet. You had a support system that was so wow. out of this world. Tell me about that support. My mom says, and you thought you were alone. And she's like, look at all these people. So many people. And she's like, you thought you were alone. There is a line out the door and flowers just wow. filled up. And I'm like, I've already impacted people. That moment, I say the gift of perspective. And I was like, the grass is greener, the sky is bluer, yeah. these smiles on these people's faces, the support. But the one thing that I think is so remarkable is that you were able to just walk outside like Chantal Lewis before the accident. You were just instantly, this is who I am. Yeah. You didn't was, have like any hesitation or embarrassment or anything like that. That was like a, uh, the, the perspective thing yeah. or something. I got back on stage two weeks later and I remember I had like a standing ovation. It was a whole thing. At what point did you realize, okay, it's time for me to actually get a prosthetic and right. let me try it. I received my prosthetic like a year and a half after the accident. That was a gift from thousands of people that came to a fundraiser to help provide that for me. Yeah. There's a piece of like all that support in this hand. Now that actually gives me the option, you know, I started wearing it for auditions. I just was like, if I'm still here, I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do and be exactly who I've said and always dreamt of being, except for on like a whole other platform. When you've built a very organic following over the years, especially recently, I started an inspirational blog. Believe and Become 
has been an avenue that I've been consistent with for about five years. And I would get hundreds and hundreds of people just writing me saying thank you, I looked to your page and I really became a voice for these people that struggled with image disorder or trauma or just being so comfortable in your own skin. Now that you have this platform, you can really inspire the masses. I also want to write my book. I also want to maybe speak at some point to like show, you know, younger generations that like, you know, okay. when they're in school, not to making fun of the girl in the wheelchair or the little person or the girl with one hand or no legs. Take it from me. It could yeah. change in an instant, yet I could still smile through it. I could still breathe through it and I could still come out on the other side.